Hi guys, welcome to Coda Design Lab. This is video number 23 for Hotel Memel system in Laravel. And in this video, we are going to work with the light box. Okay. So in our previous video, we have created our home page. Uh, we, in the home page, we have created nav bar, slider uh, section, services section, and the gallery section. And I have told you that in the gallery section, we will apply the light box. So what is light box and why we are going to apply? So let me show you. If you search the light box, then you will see this link, uh, this kind of link, lokeshdhaka.com and uh, something projects a light box too. Okay. So when you, here you can see that these are, this is example of uh, two individual images and this is example of four images set. Okay. So when we click on this, this will show the image like this in a pop-up. Okay. So if you, if you are using the image set, then you have a, just like a slider, you can uh, slide the images that will be in the set okay and we are going to apply this images set and here are the things that uh, they have given they have give uh, they have given us that how you can uh, how you can apply the light box okay so if you are apply the images set then this is a simple configuration you need to uh, load the library uh, js and css and then you need to apply this H, uh, this html anchor okay for the set you need to apply this data light box and you need to define the same name for all of the anchor and here the images okay so let's do this and uh, uh, so first of all before applying the light box we need to fetch the room type uh, room types okay in this uh, section and uh, we have already uh, defined the relation between the room type and the gallery okay you can see the sixth and seventh video I have uh, I have defined all the things okay so let's so let's fetch the data so I will just simply use the room type uh, I will just simply copy the code from the room type controller from the admin section so I'll copy this uh, model and paste it here and copy this uh, room type okay and we have this kind of thing and we will say dollar this data here we have okay and i will say room types okay because in the home we will pass lots of things so we can't uh, we can't say it as simple data okay so in the room from the room type let's go to home.php uh, home.blade.php and here we will apply the loop so for each okay and this will be variable as r type okay and after this and for each okay, and we will remove all of the things here okay and now let's go to home page and refresh this page so, see, so here you can see that this is these are now three okay now let's apply the title so i will just simply say this title okay and i have defined the relationship between the room type and images so if you go to the show show.blade.php and of course uh, you have to access the all you have access the all of the pages from the github so you can find the link on the channel okay so if you go to the channel uh, let me show you and this is coda design lab and if you go to this channel then you can simply here we have defined hi guys welcome to coda design lab today we are going to start a new project okay so when you go to the show.blade.php in the room type folder so i have defined i am accessing the images this kind of relation so uh, this is data uh, you can say this is in a for loop so i'll just copy this and in the home page i have this kind of thing i will just simply say in the loop let me show all of the images in the loop then we will after that we will hide and we will just show one one of the images i will just simply comment this so this is not room type this is this is not data this is r type and from the r type we will fetch the images as image and we will just simply say this is r type title and i will simply say image and this is image source actually i will show the image here okay so this is image storage app image source yeah this is fine 
now let's go to home page and refresh the page here you can see that okay so in our uh, let me show the title also so from p tab let's show the title here you can see that so these are the deluxe rooms suite room uh, actually this will not in this uh, internal loop this will be in external loop so deluxe rooms premium rooms and suite rooms so these are the gallery of all images okay and now what i will do we need to define the now we are going to apply the light box okay so let's go and uh, define the light box and before defining the light box i will just apply the standard classes okay and uh, let's see uh, why we are doing this in a card body let's apply the card header and we need to i will apply this card header in a h4 tag okay and what it will affect i will show you of course it will show you and this will be title here you can see that but this should be five okay so deluxe rooms premium rooms suite room okay so in the premium room you we don't have any images so that it is not showing anything okay but initially we are showing all of the images but later we will show just only one image and then when we click on this then it will show all of the images in the in the pop-up okay so let's apply the uh, first apply the light box then we will hide uh, all the images except first okay So let's apply the light box. So for applying the light box, we need all of the, we need the library. So in the gym management system in uh, in the Django project, I have applied the light box. So I will copy the light box from here. So I will copy this light box, copy, uh, hotel manage public, and I will. This is vendor. Let's let's add this in a vendor. Okay. And after that, I have applied this in a template, home template. So I will also copy the code from the home template. Okay. So this, this is the thing. We need to copy this. Okay. And I will paste it in our uh, body, home template before the body. So we need to change this uh, syntax because this is a Django syntax. So I will just close the show room and this thing. Okay. And now let's apply the, this kind of thing sets and we need this. Uh, okay. So uh, what is the path? Let's close this also go to, I will copy this. This is pub, this is uh, public and vendor. So public and then vendor okay and then light box and this kind of thing this kind of thing and then after that we will just simply css and yeah this is fine now so our uh, asset is closed here and now just this link okay so copy this and paste it here also so public vendor lightbox distinction and we need lightbox.min.css okay so this will be js okay fine so js lightbox.min.js okay so assets public vendor assets public vendor okay so we also need to apply the standard html so i will copy this anchor let's simply copy this anchor and paste it here okay and uh, we will apply this image in the href also and this will be our r gallery okay so this is in loop so this will create the anchor so let's refresh the page here 
okay so when we click on this actually the light box is not applied here so let's verify this so a is not function it is saying a is not function so it is anchor and href data light box and our gallery this is image width and all the things so let's verify that control u i will say control u and go to down and here we will click here lightbox css is loading lightbox js is loading so what we need so this is light this is optional actually so let's say this is lightbox this is css and uh, confirm that four images loaded by the css in the correct location and this is lightbox this is title images all the things are correct so it should be working it is saying that a is not a is not a function okay so why it is saying that anchor we have defined all the things okay let's 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 see why it is not showing okay so i understand that this is the issue for the jquery because uh, this light box depends on the jquery so we need to load jquery so let's go to vendor and in the vendor folder we have already jquery in the jquery folder so we will load this so i'll just simply load this i'll just copy this script and paste it here and in the public i will just go to uh, we are in the home dot play template so in the public so we have vendor okay vendor then jquery okay and then jquery dot min dot js okay so just simply refresh this page and here you can see that now it is loading okay so this kind of thing but here you can here if you notice this thing that this is showing all of the images all of the images in a in this a single pop-up but what we need if we click on this uh, deluxe room image then it will it should show only the images of deluxe room okay and if you want to show the sweet room images then it should show the sweet room when we click on this so how we can do this just simple it is very simple that you need to define the room type id in our lightbox this the here so what i will do r type and here we will define the id okay so i will refresh the page here and when we click on this it will show one of two okay so this is the thing okay when we click on this this will show all of the images of suite room okay so now this is uh, we have applied light box so we just like uh, applying the light box is very simple you just need to load the libraries and you need to just define the anchor and in the anchor you need to define href the image path and data attributes okay and uh, you can also follow the documentation here they have explained very well okay so now what we need to do next we will just hide all of the images of this and we will just show only one image and when user click on this one image it will show all of the images in the pop-up or you can just keep it as simple you can show all of the images also here okay so i will do i will uh, what i will do here i will just show one image at a time okay so and I will also apply class here thumbnail image thumbnail click here uh, why we are applying image thumbnail actually let's simple as this and just simply remove this width. okay and let's define class image fluid okay so it will uh, cover the space okay and let's apply let's go to bootstrap and let's see if any class for hiding the thing so let's go to the docs and here we have and let's say hide 
so collapse to stand uh, using method hide so actually there is no method for uh, there is no class for hide so what i will do here i will just simply define the class hide okay and in the hide what i will do i will create style and here what i will do define display none okay and if you define the display none it will hide all of the images but what we need we need to def we need to hide except only first image so here we define if if dollar loop counter let me show you first thing that what it will return if i define dollar loop counter okay so let me show you so if i will refresh the page uh oh what it is saying let's say index we will use index not uh, this kind of thing so let me show you so this is index so if our index is zero then we will no, we will not apply the height and if index is greater than one then we will apply okay so i will say simply if dollar if dollar index if dollar is index greater than zero then we will apply the height class else and if else what we will do else we will apply simply we will just remove the height class okay so this is the thing click on this so this kind of thing okay you can see here only the first image will show and others others will not show here okay so this is the simple video for uh, applying the light box and uh, we have uh, fetched the data from the database and we have applied the simple trick that how we can show only first image and uh, we will uh, show all image in pop up okay so i hope you learn lots of things from this video and in the next video we will go the further pages uh, we will actually in the next video we will go for the booking page and we will manage the booking from the back end okay so please like this video subscribe this channel comment on this video and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much